Right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that taught us this truth. Okay, just coming with another lesson. Uh, this one, you know, I'm going to be speaking about how, you know, we are to seek the Lord. Okay. And uh, judgment is coming in these last days. All right. So we want that protection. All right. We want deliverance. And we need the Lord, man. We need Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai in these last days. Okay. And you're going to have those that don't repent. You're going to have those that don't seek the Lord. And they're going to perish. All right. So I'm going to start with Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. You see, so make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. But you have people out there that, you know, they're, you know, delaying returning on to the Lord. And that you have people out there that think that they have all the time to, uh, uh, you know, finish um, their career, finish, uh, uh, you know, uh, paying off, you know, their their house or, you know, building their business. And doing all these things, they have time for everything else other than seeking the Lord. Like we're not in the last days. In their mind, they're thinking, oh, they got time. But that's dangerous, man, because the fact of the matter is, is that nobody knows the time. All right. And we're in a time of prophecy in the last days where so much is going on and, and so much judgment is going forth through, throughout the earth that it is very unwise. To, to tarry, you know, and to uh, delay repenting, you know. So it says putting it off from day to day. Yeah, don't say, oh, oh, next week, next month, next year, and then I'm going to start serving the Lord, or then I'm going to repent and get my life, you know, right, and get right with the Lord. The scriptures is telling you not to do that. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So, yeah, and that's the thing with judgment. Judgment is, it can be sudden, you know. All of a sudden now, you know, people are dying. All of a sudden now, uh, things is, is just, uh, uh, you know, trouble is coming, you know. All hell is breaking loose. You know, you, you got... Um, all, all sorts of uh, uh, tribulation coming down. You know, or, you know, you, you know, a person gets, you know, ill. They get uh, sick or, or however it goes. But the fact is, people are going to be, you know, thinking that they've got it all together. All right. They're secure in their secure job. They got their secure business. They got their, you know, uh, secure house. Things that make them feel secure. But it's really false security. Because all of those things are not going to be able to help no one in the in the day of vengeance, man. It, when the Lord brings this place down, when the Lord uh, brings judgment, okay? Because at the end of the day, this wicked kingdom is going down, man. All right, we can see the collapse is close. All right, World War Three is 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 uh, close. All right, the um, the mandatory uh, mark. The CHIP, all these things is close. So if people put their trust in money and people put their trust in riches and all these things, they're going to be um, mistaken. All right. All of those things of the flesh is not going to save you, man. Let me get a quick precept on that. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Okay, so yeah, because at the end of the day, when there's an economic collapse, people have, you know, put their uh, all their labor into building wealth, riches, and and putting their hopes in their finance. But when when the money crashes, when there's no uh, value in in the currencies that they got, because they're changing over to a new currency, then what profit is that? And ultimately, if the Lord wants somebody destroyed. The Lord is going to have them destroyed. It doesn't matter about how much money they got. You can't pay off the angels. All right. When the angels come sent on a uh, a hit, a spiritual hit, 
You're not going to be able to bribe any angel or bribe your way out of judgment. So how do we get delivered? Through righteousness, all right? Through faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Continuing to seek the Lord and, and worship and praise the Lord. Okay, to obey his word. And how are you going to do that? How are you going to know these things? You have to be seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found okay so how are you going to know these things if you're not seeking the lord you know and the, the lord how it goes is that the lord he puts the spirit in you to do these things anyway okay because the scripture says that ye have not chosen me i have chosen you but it's the lord that gives you the gift of faith it's the lord that opens your mind to receive his word to have a heart to seek him all right and once you hear this word, it's, it, you know, and the Lord opens your mind, that's what you're going to be doing. All right. And it's important because it's, it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. OK, because there's going to come a time where the Lord is not going to be found. The knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the, of the Lord and the, his word is not going to be found in the time soon to come. OK, it says, call ye upon him while he is near. And how are you going to call upon the Lord if you don't know his name? If you don't know the holy name of the Heavenly Father and his Son. And you get that by seeking the Lord and, and the, at the mouth of the prophets, teaching the truth. That's how he, he may be found. But that's how you know it's a uh, hand in hand because the time is going to come where the prophets are not going to be out teaching the word. Teaching the holy names and, and teaching the, the true doctrine all right, and the truth of the Holy Bible. That time is coming. And in that time, people are going to be running around like headless chickens and they don't know what to do. They don't know why all this tribulation is coming, why they're catching so much hell and why all these evils are coming upon the earth. Okay, let's get... Uh, Two precepts before I close out. All right, I'm gonna not make this too long. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and read Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and verse one. It says, "Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth." All right, so and that's the thing. You, you notice a lot of times, especially with our people, when whenever they're nearing the end of their life, maybe they're elderly. That's when they want to get right with the Lord. When something bad happens, that's when now they want to, you know, uh, go to the, you know, you know, look for being spiritual. Or they want to go and seek the Lord. But it says, remember to create in thy youth, right? Because when you come early, that's the best way. There's more benefits. All right. You know, it says, while the evil days come not. All right, and evil means bad times, man. That's that's the times that's coming. The evil, bad times are coming, and they're approaching the earth. We can see that, man. You know the the cost of living, uh, um, inflation. All right, um, more homelessness. All right, more uh, disease, sickness, pestilences, plagues, disasters. You know all these things are coming up on the earth, man, and, and wars. So, how are you going to be delivered in in that time? Okay, we're going to need the help of the Lord. All right, but the Lord is going to help those that are, are of the elect, that are chosen. All right, and what are they going to be doing? They're going to be seeking the Lord. They're going to have uh, uh, remembered the Lord. Okay, and they're going to come early. Now you're going to have those, you know, that come in the last hour. But those are going to be the, the sincere elect, you know, that repent before it's too late. But the, the prudent thing, the wise thing, is to remember the Lord and seek the Lord early. All right? Make no tarrying. It says, Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. It says, While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, 
and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. So yeah, and the keepers of the house shall tremble. So that's, you know, I was mentioning uh, when the money uh, fails, right? when uh, economic crisis comes and the economic collapse, you know, you're going to have, you know, and that's what people are predicting there. They're foreseeing that the people in the, the stock markets, all right, the people that are, um, you know, uh, keep watch of the financial um, climate, you know, they're trembling because they they foresee it. They see the the uh, money failing, the, the the you know that bubble bursting. All right, and and you're gonna see you know more you know a lot more people uh, out of work. All right, uh, uh, lack of jobs, lack of money being circulated, or or uh, lack of money in the in the economy, I should say. All right, where well, it's looking bleak, man. So, all these things are coming, man. Uh, let me go into... This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So you're going to have the elect, the men of the Lord, those of uh, the Lord's chosen. They're going to have this uh, true riches. All right. They're going to have this word and the Holy Spirit and, and the fear of the Lord. All these things together, you know, and, 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 you know, the Lord being with us. That's going to keep us stable in these unstable times. All right. When there's crisis and there's all hell breaking loose. When all these hard times come, all right, and it's going to lead to salvation. You're going to realize and, and see much more than the, the the men on the corners with the signs preaching with the holy Bibles. You know the true men of the Lord weren't out there for no reason, all right, and that's going to lead to salvation. Okay, so I'm going to get the feminine of the word uh, scriptures, and I'll close out with that. All right, this is Amos chapter 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay, so during the times of tribulation and, and all hell breaking loose, you are going to have different calamities. You are going to have uh, different uh, tribulations. There will be, you know, famines and lack of, uh, lack of bread and water. But this one, what this is talking about is, is talking about a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. OK, you're not going to be able to get this truth. All right. And what do we see happening a lot? We're seeing censorship. We're seeing strikes on, on channels. We're seeing truth being um, demonized. OK. So there's going to come a time where you're not going to hear the words of the Lord, the truth. OK, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Okay. That's why it's important to seek the Lord while you can. All right. Repent. All right. Turn away from the wickedness of this world and seek this truth. Okay. Because there's going to come a time people are going to wish that they took this serious. They're going to wish that they had, uh, you know, the chance to, to get this truth. All right. They're going to remember the times they passed it by. They're going to remember the times that they delayed and put it off. All right. And uh, that's, that's uh, you know, a horrible situation to be in because a lot of people in that space are going to perish, man. All right. But you're going to have a chosen few that are going to be delivered. All right. Those that are seeking the Lord, man. So I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Wahara, Kakudash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. To the elect of Israel, Shalom.